what's going on YouTube we are back again we are about to talk to the person Ooh. to find dreamer in the house it looks like we have to go below. we have to go up so we have to go Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Taking all your stuff. Stop. Go away. Leave it. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Second floor. Wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. Stop. Go away. Leave it. Put 
down, please. Just blood, don't spill. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No oh, joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Sarah, it might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big end chases me. Ben's got these rags. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers. Especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. She needs to go hang out with what's his face in the swamp. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods, horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture, hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish in the dream well it was all too real and not at all amusing the work of a godling she made people believe the house was haunted also injected your dreams with her little jokes and you managed to wake me i feel fortunate we witchers have our ways i thank you very much the dreams they were awful any way i can tell you back there is actually i'm looking for a young woman who was seen in novigrad I can certainly try to help, but I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there.
the secretary. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Quite the opposite. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Uh-uh-uh. Sorry, guys. I'm snacking. I'm so hungry today. Fucking hey, oars. Played at Horsehound's Den. Non-human, I believe I see a your kind beyond seeks to subdue the pile driver. What she cried. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, George's George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georgius George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Mm, 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 That's mm, it, mm, you're mm. in for it! Fucking oh. 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 come on! Easy peasy. Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt gate. Oh. Ah. This drink for his kneeling. guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny? By something more. 
Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, was of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Volker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one in legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers, I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue. Please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and tell me. This is crazy. This is like Buddhist. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. swallow at first after that just nightmares at times the dreams can multiply show the past as well as the future the swallow it symbolizes Siri she contacted dandelion I didn't know he was in town the poet heard about him someone left in the rosemary and time in their will thanks for your help good luck Witcher I hope you find your Siri. Uh, da, da, 
Gotta loot everything because we can sell everything. you'll find. Seems you're training Alfie. Whoa, 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 stop flexing like that. Lawrence, I'm not going to say. Help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are more. Old villagers pitching, lords out with their purses, ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages, dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. As long as the damp don't make me sick. Let's see what this exclamation point is. Mind the guards. The wizard thugs. Uh, a witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance? Indeed. Going on some voyage looking for a companion, right? Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved Letta I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. A black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. High time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. I can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which are shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Sure, I'll help you. That will do it's crazier than it is sane. Maybe next episode. But there's an irresistible we'll charm some to it. Secondary missions. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Why not hit your waist like everyone else? Really shouldn't have tried to attack me. I need to try to sell some things. Hey, you! Yes, you! Hey, you! You've got water yes, on you. the brain! You've got water on the brain! Let's go see Rosemary and. And it's raining again. <laughs> Place is full of hoes. I never come back, you stinking stag. <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth. In the nick of time, as always.
Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? The local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Any last words? Have you be back? Oh, reminds me of a case of war. Heck yeah, almost like we never left Bergen. Ah, oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. Dang, the music I know she stuck. came to Novograd. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bombs. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dan. Aha! A note from a great... Fr the faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letnove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Stash anything. Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Heriwan themselves did the honors, and the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught us fight to yodel, and I. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. 
Meet me back here when you're done. You share uh -huh. the findings. Right, you up? Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. This the loot he got from the elves of Dolbrathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Gotta get all the things. All the things. Do that one. Do this one. I'm trying to read what I have to read, but... Terrible time. Not I see it yet. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silken lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach, and he settled for a chambermaid? 
Danny Lyons is not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. He didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins of your cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa of our atre deemed her to hear. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sword play. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common sword master? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Alrighty, let's go do it. Let's go left, I guess. Oh, oh, you're a bigger rat help, save me! Beware, for you know neither the day nor the hours. Julia, I hear you. I will get you every last copper, with interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you all are in for, stupid wank? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This spew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain, or just cheap shit. Easy peasy. Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. There was nothing. Sorry. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ah, Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen. When I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. On to the next, actually. Let's get some of this stuff. friend of dandelions looking for Ellie Hal. you've come to the right spot how might I be of service need something shortened patch your trousers down your socks you Ellie Hal? yes now pick your jaw up off the floor sorry I thought thought Ellie Hal was one of dandelions girlfriends oh so it's that wait here Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Don't think I want to know what happened next. No, definitely don't. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go. I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick bird. In fact, I desperately wish to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, oh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid. Sucks flaccid cock. Mm. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. 
I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. On to the next. As clear as the eternal fire. Got my eye on you, white one. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push enough for all. Very good. Yep. He broke. He broke, shopkeeper. Bye. Any needs, master? Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Sorry, can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children, sadly the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher, who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... Yeah. This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecturers? Hmm. How old are you again? Nine! Uh... Eight! In that case, wait a few years and I'll tell you. Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? Don't believe everything they say about witchers. What about animals? They don't like you. My mum says animals don't like bad folk. Tonka ever hiss at you? You stole from your kids. Enough. That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came. Oh, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. <laughs> 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 
So please do tell me, why are you here? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! Her snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt huh? her thighs. What the lava heck? bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. Thanks for your help. Farewell. to the next I'm not trying to go under we need to go up This Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emil. Interesting. Has Bar Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, sure, let's go be with. There. On our way then. I'm 
why not? Well, check it out. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? It's encamped nearby. Redanian chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Block the path. I don't Easy peasy. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, Milady? Ah, yes, Molly. That is why you came here after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Ah, nothing hurts as much as life. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? 
That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from a hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet, and then change the subject. Thanks, That's Molly. Scary. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings. He never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. She said, um, gullible. Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my Twitter came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Your Greta's got the imagination of a drunk Behave troubadour. Yourself. She You're never lies about behave. serious matters. Some stormkeeper told her the horses were shreds. A stormkeeper. Don't be shy now. How do you get up? No. Strange that. Why? All right, I get it. These rumor has. Rumor have. Sadly. Where did Era must? Show me. Glad he has a bunch of money so I can get rid of some of this junk.
Farewell. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. What, did you catch him? No luck. Driving his slippery, doing? the bugger, as quick as a tomcat. Scrambled out the hole in the back wall. Sounds like you might have been back or back. Maybe so. You know how to disembowel them. Black ones, the Danians. Interesting. See men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, uh, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. Show me to the swords room, sir. Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so, too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. <coughs> Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little beast. You'll learn the ambassador's eyes. Follow me. clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. 
I believe he thought he was wooing. I mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take it Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn uh with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kaviri. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure. But I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. House here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Give her some private lessons. the front of the house now.
force move and you will regret it. Let's go talk to Zoltan and then we'll end the episode there. suspicious to me. And do some side quests. Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot. You do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions that matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, Miss Lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. It's clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troveritz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up dandelion with a pair of tits. You've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's as much, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. This episode's a little longer, guys. There's a lot of people to talk to. Looking to make some coin turn, hey. Oh god. The Reapers come for me. already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
long have yearned for your tender caress to bind our forgings. Damn what the stars are, rend my heart open, then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both are tied. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet to dream. Raven locks and twisted stormy of violet eyes glistening as you weep. The wolf I will follow into the storm to find your heart, its passion displaced by our ever growing, hardening into stone. Amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace You flee, my dream come the morning Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy Of violet eyes glistening you weep. I know not if fate would have us live as one, or if by love's blind chance we've been bound. The wish I whispered when it all began, did it forge a love you might never have found? You flee. My dream come the morning. All right, we gotta skip. This is gonna take forever. I know. Twas it. Um, there's a. Oh, please argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. If I so, don't. There's come. I wish to listen to music. Come. He's get Don't be pushed. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault. Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven off in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Poor son Junior doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally. Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. Deep then. There I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuben. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuben runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got coffee. Gerald! Take care now. Take care now.
guys. I think we're gonna end this episode here before we go rescue Dandelion. Before we get stuck in a long series of like talks and stuff. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. You all have a good one. Peace out.